Welcome to a presentation on the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is the number list shown here, though some sources don't include the zero. To create the Fibonacci sequence, we start with zero and one, and then each term is the sum of the two previous terms. Starting with zero and one, the next term is one because zero plus one is one. The next term is two because one plus one is two. The next term is three because one plus two is three. The next term is five because two plus three is five, and so on. We can say the first term is a sub zero, the second term is a sub one, the third term is a sub two, and so on. Using this notation, we can write a recursive formula for the Fibonacci sequence, where a sub zero equals one, a sub one equals one, and therefore a sub n equals a sub n minus two plus a sub n minus one. For example, for a sub three, because n is equal to three, and three minus two is one, and three minus one is two, a sub three equals a sub one plus a sub two, which in this case is one plus one, which equals two, which is the fourth term in the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is probably the most famous number sequence. It is named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo Pisano of Pisa, known as Fibonacci. His 2002 book, Liber Abbasi, introduced the sequence to Western European mathematics, although the sequence had been discovered earlier in Indian mathematics. In Fibonacci's book, the Fibonacci sequence emerged as the solution to the following rabbit problem. A newly born pair of rabbits, one male, one female, are put into a field. Rabbits are able to mate at the age of one month, which means at the end of the second month, a female can produce another pair of rabbits. Suppose the rabbits never die and the female always produces one male and one female. Determine how many pairs of rabbits after each month. So looking at the diagram here, we have the initial pair of rabbits that can reproduce after two months. So after two months, this pair of rabbits reproduce this pair of rabbits. Notice now there are two pairs of rabbits. But remember, this pair of rabbits can only reproduce after two months, which means for the next month, this pair of rabbits reproduce again, reproducing this pair of rabbits, and now there are three pairs of rabbits. And for the following month, this pair of rabbits can now reproduce producing this pair of rabbits, and the original pair of rabbits can reproduce again, producing this pair of rabbits. And this pair of rabbits cannot yet reproduce. Notice now there are five pairs of rabbits. Continuing, the pairs of rabbits after each month give us the Fibonacci sequence. Notice how for this Fibonacci sequence, zero is not included. One of the reasons the Fibonacci sequence is so popular is that the numbers appear all around us. For example, the number of petals in most flowers are Fibonacci numbers. For example, here we have a flower with five petals. Five is a Fibonacci number. Here we have a flower with eight petals. Eight is a Fibonacci number. Here we have a flower with 21 petals. Again, 21 is a Fibonacci number. Also notice how if we slice an apple horizontally, we often see five points where five is also a Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci sequence is also related to the golden ratio. The golden ratio is the limit of the ratios of successive terms of the Fibonacci sequence. So the golden ratio is equal to phi or phi, which is exactly equal to the quantity one plus the square root of five divided by two. This is discussed in another video, but if we take the ratio of successive terms of the Fibonacci sequence, these ratios do approach the value of the golden ratio. One divided by one is equal to one, two divided by one is equal to two, three divided by two is equal to 1.5, eight divided by five is approximately 1.67. If we continue taking these ratios, these values do approach the golden ratio, which is approximately 1.618. Notice how this ratio is approximately 1.619. The Fibonacci sequence is also related to the golden spiral. A Fibonacci spiral approximates the golden spiral using quarter circle arcs inscribed in squares of integer Fibonacci number sides 
shown for square sizes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and 21 shown here. So this Fibonacci spiral approximates the golden spiral where the golden spiral is a log spiral whose growth factor is phi or phi, the golden ratio. The spiral gets wider by a factor of phi every quarter churn. So again, the Fibonacci spiral approximates the golden spiral. And we often see these spirals in nature. Many plants grow in spirals. Often the number of spirals is a Fibonacci number and the spiral resembles the Fibonacci spiral. Here we have a plant or an agave. We can see the spirals outlined in red. And notice how if we count the spirals, we have one, two, three, four, five spirals, and five is a Fibonacci number. Here's the bottom of a pine cone, and again we can see the spirals. If we count the number of spirals, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, and 13 is also a Fibonacci number. We can also see the spirals here in this flower as well as this vegetable. And here are some additional examples of the Fibonacci spiral in nature. Here we have the spiral of a shell, the spiral of a plant, the spiral of a storm or a weather pattern, and here we have a spiral in space. There are many other interesting topics related to the Fibonacci sequence so you may want to do some additional research. Thank you for watching.